uh, we will cover now how the changes in fertility and mortality shape population headcounts based on vital events by looking at a country like Bangladesh. Between 1975 and 2017, the number of births has been fluctuating between 3 and 4 million per year. However, if the fertility conditions in 1975 would have remained the same, the number of births in 2017 would have been about 14 million. The reason for the difference is lower fertility. A woman has on average two children in 2017 compared to six in 1975. During the same period, the annual number of deaths decreased from 1 million to about 800,000. If the mortality conditions in 1975 remained the same, the number of deaths would have been about 1.7 million. The difference is caused by mortality decline, especially among children. However, the population in Bangladesh has grown since 1975 from 65 million to 165 million in 2017, or by 100 million in 42 years. If the mortality conditions in 1975 remained the same, the total population now would have been 132 million. On the other hand, if the fertility conditions in 1975 remained the same, the total population now would have been 320 million. While mortality improvements lead to some greater survival of people already born, changes in fertility play, over time, a major role in population growth. Fertility over several generations play as a population multiplier over time for absolute counts. Fertility also shapes the population composition and changes in age structure. Over the past 40 years, the shape and size of the population of Bangladesh changed. Its base got wider due to the continuous natural growth between annual births and deaths. We observe aging birth cohorts and growth of aging population. What if the fertility conditions stayed the same since 1975? It could have doubled the population compared to what happened. This difference in the size of the respective courts implies how governments should design basic services like health and education, as well as preparing needs for housing, living conditions, and labor opportunities, for example. 